So this, this is so crazy. It's so amazing. And it's like 3D. They're popping off. They look like bleeding planets. And how did you do this? I did this with Home Depot paint. No way. Yeah, I did this with Home Depot paint and the $20 free, like $20 sample set that you can buy on Amazon of paint. And what I did is I cut up some construction paper from one of my kids' art projects, crumpled it up, and put it on here. <laughs> they won't miss it. It's crazy. And then this stuff here that's this raised bits, you know how when you have like a little can of paint and you open it up and there's like goop on the inside? Yeah. I peeled that off. And I stuck it on You here. took the excess paint from a can oh, from and a can. slapped it and on slapped the slapped canvas. slapped it on so that's why it's perfectly round. And then I like painted over it and did some gold foil and stuff. That's crazy. That's yeah. so Art great. Art on a budget. Art on it. It looks better than anything <laughs> I've seen in a museum lately. Super awesome. Thank you. And then this one over here you used, you put, you said quarter inch. Uh, painter's tape? Yeah, a uh, quarter inch uh, blue painter's tape. You can buy that on Amazon, like a whole roll of it for, you know, maybe two, three bucks. Right. And then I just uh, threw it down and then it was kind of like uh, uh, coloring in a picture, basically. I just took paint and then filled in the squares, whatever I felt like, and then pulled off the paint. You, those are triangles, though. You said squares. You're right. They are triangles. <laughs> but uh, no, the blending's amazing. It's like uh, those colors are just... Uh, are great. Oh yeah. And what is your name, by the way, Miss Artist? I'm Mrs. Plainfield. Artist. Yay. <laughs> and here's here's her awesome husband on the drums. Hello. Yes. A commissioned artist. Uh, yeah, I'm, I just love this cow. This. No way. Yeah. But yeah. you weren't trained. No, I self-taught. So people people pay money to go to college to learn to do art. I went you? to business school and I couldn't afford business school and so I picked up, I taught myself painting and I would paint for rich people uh, whatever they wanted. So you, you did the opposite, you did art to go to college. Yeah, to go to business school. And how, how did you already know how to find these clients who, are, who would commission you? It's, I, just, um, it's a natural I thing. Went to, I went to a business school and so I was doing an internship while I was at Gillette and there was all these executives there. And so you I smoothed them. I so I just yeah I kind of like played it up a little bit, and then I had an art showing at the college campus. And I invited all these executives, and then I sold a couple pieces. And then they said, uh, then what was interesting is they wanted commissioned work. So they would uh, they would say, oh, I really like this kind of artist, and I want this to go in my kitchen or in my uh, bedroom or whatever. And so they would say, oh, I love Kandinsky. I love their, his blue period. And so what I would do is I would make an original piece of artwork in that style. So not a copy, but just in that style, that Kandinsky style yeah. or Monet style or whatever. And you, and you said to them, I, I want you to know I'm going to be using my kids' construction paper and, and scraps of old dried up paint well, that, that I find in the I corner. Was, I was the ripe young age of, let's see, 18 years old when I was doing that. Now I'm an old lady. <laughs> now, so I did now, it then yeah. for, to make money so I could, you know, no, have that's stuff to eat. Awesome now story. I just do it for fun. Super, so. super amazing.